All right, you've all seen Brandon Hawkins do some absolutely incredible things with a puck. Some things that guys probably in the NHL aren't even doing. Uh, we're going to get into that in just a moment. But first, um, the other day you broke the single uh, season scoring record for the wall. There have been a lot of really good players that have come through here. Uh, what did that mean to you to now know that you're you the guy that holds that record? Well, it's definitely something cool. I'm not a big person on personal accolades or anything like yeah. that. The, basically, the, the reason I get to do it is because of the, the guys I get to play with on a daily basis. Yeah. So it's just an attribute to them and how well we've done over the year. So if anything, it's, it's more of a, a we record than a me record. You're such a selfless guy. That's very cool. Um, you and I have talked about this before, but you play a lot of roller hockey in the off season. Yep, I actually, I grew up playing roller hockey. My dad ran a roller hockey rink called Joe Dumars Fieldhouse. It uh, shut down during COVID, but uh, I, I played. I still play roller hockey every summer. I go back and play when I can. Why? Why do you think roller hockey skills translate onto the ice? Uh, it's time, space, and a lot of offense. Okay. So it's four on four. You have more room to work. It's you're more one-on-one -on -one situation, so you have to learn how to beat guys one-on-one, -on -one, whether how creative you get with that is on you. Yeah. But uh, but it's a lot of fun. And, and when you have to understand and realize time and space, it, it changes the entire game. All right, let's show off some of these things that he can do with a puck. Are you ready? I can't do what you do, but we'll try. Puck a shot. He scores! When I watch you warm up or I watch you at practice, you do like silly stuff with a puck. Mm -hmm. It has translated into games. Yep. Um, give, give me an idea. What are some of the things that, uh, that you, what, like, what are some of your favorite things to do as you're just well, messing so around? Last year when we were playing in Fort Wayne, I had my, my 30th goal of the year. I walked down the far wing and I, I picked the puck up on my backhand and threw it up underneath the bar. So it was, it's just one of those things that I never expected it to translate. I just got so comfortable doing it that I could do it at a high speed and it worked out. You started last year in your own zone. Yep. You're coming down this wing. Yep, full speed. Full speed. Full speed, and I'm here, and I got inside, and I picked it up here and went underneath the bar. You realize, like, how ridiculous that is, right? Like, did, in the moment, did you, like, have an idea what you were going to do? No, I didn't have a clue. <laughs> I, got, I got to somewhere on the net, and I'm like, oh, this could work. That's so absurd. Do you have, like, a focus when you're just messing around like are you just kind of doing stuff and you know, like as you said in warm-ups like you see me do like fun things and stuff like that in all reality it's just getting my hand eye kind right. of ready and the more the more I'm the more I'm happy with the puck the more different stupid things I can do so it's like being able to to just juggle and do things like that do fun things try to catch it on my skate do throw it up catch it in my glove like Different dumb things that, that nobody thinks of. Yeah. It's just, it makes a game a little more fun for me. Like, it might be weird to say it, but, like, I love doing things that are just abstract. That's awesome. So, the, so like, when, I, when I'm in warm-ups, I sit there and I try, this is the normal thing I try every time. I go, I go two juggles, I go to my backhand, and then I try to catch it on my knob. <laughs> like, and, where does that even come from? Like, how do you even think of something like that? So growing up, we would do, there was a thing called Turcotte Stick Handling School, and then there was a stick handling school by Sean Skinner. Okay. Sean Skinner's whole thing was, was hand-eye, quick hands. He used a short stick. I've never translated to that. But uh, when he got the chance to, to do different things, his favorite thing or the favorite thing I saw him do, he took a uh, left-handed stick and a right-handed stick and picked the puck up, picked two pucks up at one time. And I'm like, well, that's pretty neat. I wonder if you could do it in a game. And like, it's kind of changed over the years. Like when I was in junior hockey, you do the Michigan move, you're gonna get killed. Yeah. Now it's like, you see kids doing the Michigan move on every level, on every stage from yeah. college to the NHL. It's, yeah. So the game's really changed and it's become more creative and a lot more accepting of, of more skill. So it's been, it's been really fun. DJ Hensick gives way to Hawkins. Shoot, he scores! If you've watched Hawk, um, especially like on a power play, when they can feed him a one-timer over on that wing, it's almost unstoppable. Your shot, where did that kind of, like, where did you start, reali or start realizing that your shot was pretty good? I, probably between 10 and 12. My dad always made me shoot pucks. I probably shot a thousand pucks a day in my childhood. So we had a, our basement was unfinished. So we'd had a plastic shooting mat at one side and a hockey net at the other. And I was down there more than doing anything else. So probably should have focused more on my skating. But uh, no, I shot a lot of pucks. He created a, a drill with a, with a tire where I'd sit there and I'd, I'd sit there and release and just hit the tire with my stick instead of a puck. And it really helped me learn and understand how to transfer my weight, flex my stick, 
to the point where I'm getting so much torque here that if anything, if I hit the net, there's a good chance it's going in because of how hard it's gonna be. Awesome, all right, let's try a couple of these here. Uh, where, do you, where do you like the puck at? You put it right all right, here. got it. Couple more here. Do you feel like your shot translates to any level, no matter where what it would be? Well, it's like it's one of those things. Like I work with Phil and Coase every day, yeah. and the the biggest compliment I've gotten in my career is I have an NHL shot. So it's like, and that's that's something that's odd. It's, it's really cool to hear. But like, I've built my game off a guy named Brett Hull. If you remember who Brett Hull is, so yeah. the whole being able to find space and time and being able to take a one timer in a little amount of space is really translated to me. Um, all right, last thing I want to do here is walk me through when you're on the power play because I mean you'll play you can play basically anywhere on a power play, but walk me through like what your process is and how you're trying to create time and space and getting open because everybody knows they want to feed the puck to you. Mm -hmm. When everybody knows it's coming, how do you still do it? So And we can even skate or you can show me exactly what like so what you're thinking. Luckily, like I get to play with the best passer in in probably well, Bursch is there, but the best passer I've ever played with being Henny. Yeah. Henny and Gordy are close, so it's to play with two passers like that, I just have to find dead space. And in my eyes, dead space is, is finding that, that six to 10 feet away from the D in the slot or the forward that's up top. So if I get a chance and you're over there, so for instance, where that puck is, and, and I see you making a little bit of room, I'm basically fading off, getting this guy to come high, and then I'm coming low, so I have a little space to take some sort of shot out of it. So in, in reality, it's not so much the, the shot aspect as it is creating space for myself or, or for a, a lane that a pass can come through. Awesome. Well, keep this thing rolling. Uh, I think there's a lot of fans that want to see you score a bunch more goals here in the playoffs. I'm hoping so. All I'm right. hopefully you bring it home. Perfect. Appreciate you. Yep. Thanks, Hawk.